How are we doing folks? It's Mario from MA Fly Tying and today I'm going to tie for you a booby. It's been a while since I've tied one of these uh, but since we're coming up to the fry bashing season um, I thought I would tie a booby that I thought I had almost forgotten about but I pull it out every year when it comes up to this sort of time of year when the fish start feeding on the fry this is the fly that I would uh, tend to have a on my on my cast or at least give a go so we're tying it in a size 10 uh, nymph hook and the marabou that we're going to be using for this is from flybox and this one is in silver fry so perfect for it. it's kind of that is silver uh, which is a good representation of the fry so we'll get a uh, new drop for the tail in there so this week we hit our first milestone, so we've got a thousand subscribers, so I did say in an earlier video, once we get to a thousand subscribers I will be doing a competition, so there'll be more on that later on, but thank you very much if uh, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for your continued support, it's appreciated, and if you're just new to the channel, thank you very much for joining us for the first time. So. We've got a marabou tied in, we want to tie that, that in at the top, so as we bring it down we've got a nice even body, and then just break that off for our tail. And the flies are a tie, are, generally speaking they're all for rainbows or brown trout, and they tend to be all within the competition gauge. So we've got our thread down, we've got a tail in. The thread that I'm using is a light cow, which uh, allows for the body of this to come through quite nicely. So, that tied in. And the, uh, the tinsel I'm using is an opal mirage in medium. So, we've got our opal tied in. Get a wee drop of glue just over the back of the fly just to help protect the fly and it'll last a little bit longer as I always say you can use a wire to go over the top of this if you wish but the glue works just fine so just touch and turns oops touch and turns on the way down just make sure you cover all of your threads Get that tied off and remove our waste. And then we're going to come in with some red holographic, which is where your, kind of th your thorax would be. Get that tied in and bring that just down a third and just add a a wee drop more glue in there. So we can bring our red holographic up over the top of that. And you do want to bring it down about a third because you've got your marabou and your booby eyes to tie in there as well. So you do want to be able to see, see the red. And we all know that and the red is, uh, there's lots of flies that people tie. Steve Cullen's got a really good fry pattern that he ties where he brings a peacock, uh, not the peacock, the pheasant tail up over the over the back of it, but it's similar type body uh, to this. So we've got a red in, and then we want to come in with some crinkle flash. This is kind of a peril one again. And we want, well, I use three stat, just three strands of the flash, and we want to get that down either side of the fly. Just make sure you've got enough length on either side. Just make sure that that's tied in. 
and then I don't tie this short, I actually just tie it to come out the back of the back of the marabou. And the reason for that, that's going to add a little bit of extra movement. Um, hopefully you can see that in the camera, but because it comes all the way down to the back of the fly, back of the, the marabou tail, um, when the light catches that and it's it's coming through the water, it does it does represent your uh, your fry. So I tend to tie it in there. And then another bit of marabou again. Your silver fry for your wing. Get that tied in. And you can see just an underside the reason why you want to bring your, your red hollow down the length of your fly by about a third, just so that you get you don't lose it once you bring your, your head up. And again, just pinch off the marabou. At the back, you can put some more of the crinkle flash in at the wing if you wish, but I prefer to have the wing that's that's kind of more free, free flowing. So there we go. And then for the eyes, you can you can use different colours eyes and sizes of eyes, but you know, the eyes that I'm going to be using here are a, a kind of natural kind of tan colour. But before I do that. I'm just going to come in and give us a couple of finishes because we're going to do a change of material here. I'm going to come in with black tine thread for the head. You don't need to change, change it. You can maybe even come in with orange. You could continue with the uh, the original thread, the light cattle, if you want, if you want, but I prefer it with the black. Just for me, the combination between the black, which would be obviously the head of the fry, your red, and then your peril on the back. I think that's the right combination. So just make sure the eyes are in the middle. A couple of turns in there. Make sure you're happy with them and they're in the middle. And then three or four turns on one side. Just figure it through the eyes. Make sure that's on the other side. And then pull everything back. Just tidy up the head. And then come in with your lip finish. And just to protect it on the underside, I just want to come in a wee bit of Sally Hansen or super glue, whatever you prefer. Just to protect the thread thread wraps under there. Just like so. And that, folks, is a fly that I'll be fishing through the back end of the year for the rainbows. It's my fry pattern. Catch a lot of fish. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel, thank you very much for joining us for the first time. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And you want to stick around, please subscribe. And for those that have joined us again, thank you very much for your continued support. As I said, I'm going to be doing a competition. So I will be asking um, everybody that has sub subscribed. I'm going to put out a note um, on the channel just with either a link um, or I'll go online. I'll grab all your... your um, the names of your profiles, I'll stick them in a um, prize generator and we'll get that done over the next few weeks. Um, probably be a box of flies, it might be a box of uh, flies containing everything that I've tried for the, tied for the channel. Um, I do have a couple of competitions that are coming up as well, so I might even tie a box of the competition flies that have worked for me um, during the season. So t stay tuned guys, thank you very much for your continued support and tight lines out in the water. Take care.